comparison points between your uh, IS 1893 part 1 2002 and IS 1893 part 1 2016 so uh, this code is for uh, criteria for earthquake resistant design on of structures general provisions and building so th there are so many changes uh, have been made in the updated version of 2016 so I'll be discussing the, the four most important change there are many more changes but the four most important changes which which is going to change your the design of your building I'm going to highlight those comparative points those four points are the first the importance factor i'll be explaining the comparison of importance factor between 2002 and 2016 second the the comparison between the criteria for dynamic analysis third is the moment of inertia clause what is what 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 is the moment of inertia clause uh, in 2002 and 2016 and the fourth is damping ratio so the first thing I just want to make clear I, I have received few comments where uh, somebody said Ki your design is wrong because you, you your design is based on the previous code if your code has been updated that does not mean that your previous design that the code the design which you have made based on the previous code previous previous uh, version of code is wrong it is not wrong the previously uh, the previous codes are not wrong these codes are upgraded in order to uh, optimize the design or in order to to strengthen the design so th those things should not be concluded that the design which which were performed using previous codes are so I, I, I'll not waste much time, I'll just go uh, with the comparison. So first, the importance factor. So importance factor is, uh, in 2002, the importance factor is on page number 18, table number 6. So immediately we'll go on page number 18, table number 6. So page number 18, table number 6, there are two serial numbers for importance factors. So if you'll see the, this table number 6 the clause reference is 6.2.4 so there were two importance factor used 1.5 and 1.1 1.0 for the first serial number is the important service building so the service building community buildings hospitals school those were given importance factor as 1.5 and all other buildings were given importance factor 1.0 uh, but you you have you still have that provision that you can design your building giving your importance factor but those importance factors should not be less than the recommended value but but in 2016 version the importance factor is covered under page number 19 table number 8 so the important there is an additional serial number that this in this serial number there are additional one serial number where your importance factor criteria has been revised so page number 19 i'll just go i'm just explaining you with the help of this is uh, code because it is very easy for you when you refer the code and you can understand easily so table 8 importance factor there is this second serial number there is this all other buildings remain same important service building and community building remain same 1.5 and 1.0 but there is an additional importance factor given to residential or commercial building other than those listed in serial number. So any building other than those listed in serial number 1 with occupancy more than 200 persons. So in case of the occupancy of your building like if you are, if you are designing a high rise building where the occupancy is more than 200 persons whether, whether it be commercial or residential the importance factor should be minimum. 1.2 so this this is the revision made based on importance factor so this was the comparison between importance factor now immediately we'll go to the dynamic analysis criteria so initially this uh, 2002 version they have very they were very lenient 
version the dynamic analysis was allowed for many buildings like uh, if you see the buildings were firstly um, divided into irregular and regular buildings so regular buildings of height less than 40 meters it was allowed to design using static analysis under zone 4 and 5 similarly for zone 2 and 3 the building regular building lesser than 90 meter height were allowed for static analysis and above 90 meter was allowed dynamic analysis for irregular building all frame building higher than 12 meter in zone 4 and 5 so if you're building if, as per 2002 if your building comes under zone 4 and 5 and it is irregular and it is above 12 meter that means you have to go for dynamic analysis otherwise below 12 meter you have to go for static analysis in case your building comes under zone 2 and 3 and the building height is greater than 40 then you have to go for dynamic analysis otherwise below 40 you have to go for static analysis so this i have already explained under a video where i have the title of the video is selection dynamic analysis selection so you can refer that video in this video i'll just compare so this clause has been changed very the change the change made in this clause is quite quite uh, quite different so just go to 2000 uh, go to 2016 version page number 23 so this is this is under page number 23 which suggests that all the buildings higher than 15 meter and comes under zone 2 shall be designed for dynamic analysis look at this clause clause 7.7 .7. these clauses were removed and replaced by this simple single clause so linear dynamic analysis shall be performed to obtain the design lateral force design seismic base shear and its distribution to different level levels along the height of the building and to various lateral load resisting elements for all buildings other than the regular buildings lower than so if your building is regular if your building is regular in uh, size in uh, geometry then you can go for and lesser than height 15 meter and in seismic zone too so that means Overall, it means dynamic analysis is compulsory for almost all buildings in all zone because the zone two is the least affected seismic zone. So, so this this clause means that dynamic analysis shall be compulsory for almost all buildings in zone all zones. So, if your building comes under zone two and the height of building is less than 15 meter, then only you are advised to go for static analysis otherwise in zone 2 also if the building height is more than 15 then you have to go for dynamic analysis so this this the, the, the major difference the, the comparison is in this clause like st the selection of dynamic analysis so this was regarding dynamic analysis again i'll repeat the comparison that in 2016 dynamic analysis is made compulsory for almost all buildings in all zone because 15 meter height is not much hardly it will come if 3.2 is your floor to floor height then it will come ground plus 3 let's say ground plus 3 so ground plus 3 the structure should be ground plus 3 and it should come under zone 2 it should not come under zone 3 if under coming it under zone 3 that means you have to without the height criteria you have to go for dynamic analysis so this was the dynamic analysis now we'll go for moment of inertia so there was in the previous version like in 2002 there was no moment of inertia clause there was nothing discussed about the moment of inertia clause in the is code so as per that that code the, the analysis is made considering the full moment of inertia that means the moment of inertia was used fully completely but in 2000 2000 this 16 2016 version clause 6.4.3.1 so I'll
16 version clause 6.4.3.1 so i'll just go to this this comes under page number 14 so there they have included a clause for moment of inertia where they have suggested certain values for moment of inertia so you can look you can say, see for structural analysis the moment of inertia shall be taken in rc and machinery structures 70 percent of 70 percent for columns like your cracked moment of inertia is considered in the latest version like you have to consider the because since we design concrete as cracked sections so the cracked moment of inertia shall be considered so the moment of inertia for uh, columns shall be considered 70 percent of gross moment of inertia and 35 percent of gross moment of inertia for beams steel structures you have to consider complete uh, moment of inertia that is gross moment of inertia for both columns and beams because steels steel structures are not designed as correct section so this this is also a very major change in this latest version so we have discussed importance factor we have discussed dynamic analysis now we have discussed moment of inertia now we will be discuss, discussing the damping ratio so in the previous version that 2000 2002 version there was a damping ratio coefficient the damping ratio required recommendation that was considered under 7.8.2.1 so the, the value of damping ratio for buildings may be taken as 2% and 5% for of the critical for the purpose of dynamic analysis for steel and reinforced concrete buildings respective that means for steel the damping was considered 2% and for concrete the damping was considered as 5% but in this latest revision the damping coefficient has been revised damping ratio has been revised for both steel and RCC the damping ratio is considered as 5% so it is considered covered under page number 19 so damping ratio the damping ratio is considered as so this 5% 7.2.4 the clause is 7.2.4 the value of damping shall be taken as this this is the last line so the value of damping shall be taken as 5% critical damping for the purpose of estimation of AH in the design lateral force VB for a building as per 7.21 clause irrespective of material so this code suggests this revision suggests the damping shall be select damping ratios shall be selected irrespective of material namely steel reinforced machinery or combination that means 5% is the damping damping ratio which shall be considered but in the previous version it has it has suggested different damping values for steel and rcc numbers so these were the most important the most important comparative points uh, which 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 needs to be studied for the uh, the upgraded version of 2016 is 1893 part 1 2002 and 2016 so in case if you have any doubt i i, I tried explaining the, these clauses based on the is codes so that i does not make any uh, mistake while explaining i should not miss any clause i should not miscode any code so i tried to explain it in a better way by using the uh, the respective codes so in case if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this topic you please comment try to uh, try to get your doubts clarified in case if you still have any doubt you you, you suggest similar topics or you suggest some other topics which will help these topics so you can suggest we will try to include those topics we will try to make videos on those topics so hope uh, you you like this video please share and subscribe please
subscribe and like uh, our video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care and goodbye.